I look at a lot of my videos um, on this channel that were from 2021. This is when I started um, traveling the country and I began to just learn what this world is is basically about. I just learned that it's a very tough world and you have to be a tough person. And yeah, I'm I'm totally different from that first video, the first series of videos you see on the channel. I'm not that same person you see anymore because I'm day by day I'm just getting more and more tougher as as it as time goes by. Mentally, physically. I mentioned right now, I bench like one one hundred thirty pounds plus that bar is like forty five. But um you don't really see let me, let me just say this to you. Um it is it, it's portrayed. If you look at all my videos, it, it if you if you if you could, it will look like I'm suffering from the early stages of depression. If you see how my mood is going from very like optimistic, preppy, you know, happy go lucky Negro to angry ass, you know, um, rattan chair sitting, rifle pointed in the air with shades on, angry ass, black power fist balled in the air type dude. That's what you sort of see now. And like, this is the thing. The thoughts that I had on this channel are not all wrong when it relates to the world, race, money, social issues. I'm not all wrong, but I was, I, I really feel like, like I, I told, I never, I did a video and I took it down. But the guy that I had the press charges against, that really took a toll on my mental health and just my, um, my, my, my perception of just the black community itself. But, um, I don't want to get lost in this video. It's really tough out here. It is. You gotta, especially for men, it's, it's very tough. And I'm seeing for black men. And I mean, black men that are born in America, because there's a certain stigma when it comes to being black in America, whether you want to admit it or not, it is. Africans or people from, you know, the Caribbeans, they don't go through the stuff that we go through. But, and, and like I said, everything, I, I look at both sides because I look at the crime in this country. I look at the culture. But then again, I, I tell myself that there is always going to be a sense of, togetherness with other groups of people, whether people admit it or not. But one thing I did on, um, one thing I, I did, if you look at my old videos, I may title this, Man Up, Stop Being Such a Bitch. One thing I, you don't really see me doing anymore, you don't see a lot of smiling, you don't see you don't see any kind of weakness for the most part on this channel. I was a very weak person when I first left my, um, when I, when I, when I did this, all this, all the stuff I'm doing now, I was a very weak person. I, I cared too much about what people thought. I wanted to, um, you know, make other people not as intimidated because I I, and I I will admit I said this before. All the violence that has gone on. I once said that um, I didn't want white people to be fearful of me because of all the things that go on in this country when it comes to black on white crime. I said that before. Now, yeah, there is a a lot a lot of cases of black on white crime, but one thing I've learned is. There's nothing I can do to, I can't do, I can't do anything about that. I can't. <clears throat> what people think of me is not my problem. But um, like I said, I've learned last year what my position is in this country. I learned that, you know, it's always going to be unity 
and togetherness within all racial groups of people. The only people that don't do that are black people, black Americans. And this is why um, the jobs that I'm at, like it's, it's a Haitian dude. I talk with him. Um, we just started talking yesterday. We talked, we talked in French at the job, but they do a lot of gossip in there. I don't engage anytime they try to throw like another black person under the bus at that job. I don't see, first of all, I don't gossip about anybody at that job. I don't gossip whatsoever, but anytime I hear like them, it was a black guy that just quit. Anytime they talking about him or they gossiping, I don't engage because I will not until I, I fight the real problem, the real enemy. I'm not going to go at another black person. Now, all the things that happened to me before, yeah, I had a right to be mad about that because um, it really messed me up mentally. And um, it just opened my eyes on just the bullshit in the black community. But knowing my position in this country with these jobs, with, with life, I just don't think it's good to throw each other under the bus. Now, me speaking, yeah, I've said things in the past. I've I've made comments, but one thing I have never done, I've never performed any action that I spoke about. I never physically harmed anybody. I never raped anybody. I never harmed anyone's child. These are things that I would talk about. Now they are um considered to be, you know, people will consider that to be like very two-sided of me, two-faced. But like I said, I don't hold allegiance to no group. You know, I don't know when I did that video when I said I'm no, I'm not pro-black or, or a proud American, but this is what I am. I am a man that is a Negro and I happen to live in America. I'm not proud of this country. I don't think we are united, but I am a man that is a Negro and he lives in America. That's what I am because people call you African-American and you can't be from Africa if you were born in America and you're not really American. You know why you're not American? Because what is the word that they call you when they're pissed, when you, when you piss people off, what do they call you? What's the first word that they call you when they want to get you, when they get one, when they want to gain a reaction out of you, what, is, what do they call you? Oh, that's why I say I am a Negro. That's what I am. And I'm not, and that's like, scientifically speaking, that's what I am. So I don't have a problem with that. That's just what I come from. And it's, it's nothing wrong with it either. You know, I don't, I love my hair. Hope it can grow back soon. But um, yeah, that's that video.